target date, we can find the base or the height of a parallelogram. So let's think about that. If I have a parallelogram and let's say that my area, um, area equals uh, say 42. My area is 42 units squared. So my units are square units. Then, and I know that the base, the bottom of this, of this uh, parallelogram is, we'll say seven units. What is the height of my parallelogram? I'll just go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure that out on your own. What is the height of that parallelogram going to be? So, how do we find the height of a parallelogram? We know that the area is 42 units squared and the base is 7. Well, we know that the area equals the base times the height, or area equals BH. So, we know that this area, 42, equals the base of 7 times h, or 7, h. Area equals 7, h. So we can do uh, a couple things. We could just say, um, how many times 7 do I need to, uh, how many times do I need to multiply 7 to get to 42? And I can just count up 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. I need 6 times 7 to get to 42. So I know that my height is going to be 6. h equals 6. Or I can do it this way. I can, uh, I can divide 7h seven divide, seven divided by 7, and 7 cancels out 7, and 42 divided by 7, because whatever I do to the right side of the equation, I need to do the same thing to the left side of the equation. Well, 7 divided by 7 cancels each other out, so I get h on one side. And 42 divided by 7 is 6. So h equals 6. And we can do that with any parallelogram. If we know the height was h was 6, then we would know that b times 6 equals 42. And we would know that 6 times 7 equals 42. Any time that we are missing a height or a ba base, but we know the area, then we can find that missing height or that missing base. You can re-watch this video as many times as you need to and do your work.